because of our preference for showing negative numbers as a negative and positive number as a positive, when you're doing a variance calc, it can sometimes cause a slight bit of a problem. So just looking here with a normal variance calc, which is basically saying take the actual divided by budget. Budget was 99, actual was 91. There's a drop of 7%. Negative, that makes sense. But notice here, the budgeted cost of sales was 83. We actually had 75. Because of the calculation, it's actually saying negative. But that's actually a good thing. The cost of sales dropped, which is a good thing. Same with people cost. Here, the people cost was 7.2. That's 7. It's actually saying negative. It almost implies that that's a bad thing, but actually it's a good thing. So when you have these type of situations, you may need to come up with an alternate, alternate variance calculation. And what you'll see is what we're saying is look at the actual. Is it a positive number? Because if it's a positive number, do a certain thing, do the calculation so that a drop is negative. But if the basis is a negative number, then in that case we want a drop to actually be a positive number. So we just find that sometimes it's easier, especially when you add conditional formatting on, to see that that was bad for us, but that, that was good. The overall impact is bad. So just think about how you want to present it and what you want to see.